It's Justin Hit from Pride Prosperity Homestead. Hey, I'm out surveying some land today, and it, you know it's a nice clear path. But I want to share two points of safety that I've learned from survival classes, and I've learned just in general uh, working out in the woods. Now it's not deer season or anything, but again, I'm going to wear uh, some bright colors, and because there are bears out here, I am going to carry oh a baby here, birthing person. Anyway, number one is if you're gonna be out in the woods by yourself, let somebody know that you're gonna be out in the woods. So I text some folks and I said, hey look, I'm gonna be out in the woods by myself. Can you text me at 8 p.m. and uh, just as a check-in, here's the property I'm located at. Okay, usually I'm out here with somebody else. I definitely always have a radio. So I have a radio and GPS with me. I'll know exactly where I am. I know I'm sweaty and disgusting, but I'm kind of taking a water break. Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm surveying a path. So as I come in, I'm going first to the furthest location. So as I work, I'm working my way back towards the truck. But as I come into my furthest location, I'm flagging uh, the, where they're going to do the forest mowing. And then when the forest mowing comes in, they're going to drive all the way into the back and then work their way to the front. So I'm kind of following the same path. But from a safety perspective, if fat old Justin here has a heart attack and passes out back here, it's real easy to know where I am. Just follow the ribbons on the way in, uh, and or and uh, you know you know I'm out here because I let somebody know. The fastest way to get rescued is somebody to actually know where you are. Now I can hear highway from here, and um, if there was a bear or there was uh, you know I sprained my ankle or something, uh, then I'm not that far from getting out. But it's also storm weather, uh, so I started working out here. It wasn't as overcast, but now it's overcast. If a storm rolls in. And I, I don't, I'm not able to respond to my 8 p.m., then um, somebody can at least send some help. They'll know I'm out here. Now, that means not sucking up battery and stuff. Um, because if I suck up a bunch of battery and I don't have a, a way to answer the text until I get back to the truck, I won't be able to answer somebody and let them know that I'm injured or hurt. Now, I'm all the, way, all the way back in the back of the property. I've surveyed the property by satellite before I came out here. I programmed it into the GPS. I have a number of waypoints. I know which waypoint I'm at. I have printed maps out in the truck there. So somebody needs to know something specific. But again, for safety purposes, when I got to the back of the property, I also uh, answered any text that people had because the people that I let know that I was out here by myself, um, they text back and say, yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll contact you later. Um, but the long and the short of it is I have I have signal out here so I know I got signal I know my contacts have got me my trucks parked in a visible visible location for the neighbor that I usually check in with um, before I go back in the woods uh, people know that I'm armed back here and um, anybody who comes back here tends to be armed because there have been bear sightings and there have been scratches on trees there have been giant bear craps uh, but ultimately it's kind of like this circle of safety uh, the key people know where I am, what I'm doing, and when I'm expected to be back. 8 p.m. will be when it's starting to get dark. Um, and so if I'm not out by dark, then at least they'll know where I am. Now, do I have a survival kit with me with matches and stuff like that? No, I don't. I do have uh, extra water and some food in case I get hungry because boys with bellies tend to get hungry. That is just disgusting. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. Anyway, the uh, there's more than one bear in the woods. So a long story short is that let people know where you're going and what and how long you expect to be there. Touch base when you're further back to make sure you still got your signal if you're using a radio. Uh, if I didn't have signal in the back here, I could use my, uh, my radio, uh, turn my radio on to make sure I know in case somebody's going to contact me because the number's there. Now even better would be to leave a sign on the truck inside the window that says where I'm at, what radio signals I'm on. But again, I'm just coming back here to do a survey for a forest mower. Uh, this land is going to be pasture land for goats and uh, hogs over the years. And so we're just getting our markers in for where the, the, uh, the brush mower is going to come in. I'm almost at where a back gate location would be. And I'm about to cut in through the woods. So I'm going to turn this thing off and get back to work. Thanks for watching. I'm Justin Hit with Prosperity Homestead. Visit www.prosperityhomestead.org for more details about a holistic land management, uh, natural farming, and other methods that are uh, environmentally productive, regenerative, and increases the value of your land.